High school athletes pushing themselves to the limit, sometimes with deadly consequences, hidden heart defects in teen athletes that can kill without warning. Tonight, a first step toward preventing these sudden deaths involving our children. A new bill proposed in this year's Texas legislature will require in-depth heart screenings for all high school athletes. Channel 2's Bill Spencer has been following this issue for five years. Tonight, he explains what this bill covers and who is supporting the effort. <laughs> Just 16 years old, six feet four inches tall, 170 pounds, Jaron Holden hits the gym with a ferocity that knows no limits. There is literally nothing I can do on the court. A star junior varsity basketball player at Cedar Hill High School near Dallas. On the court, Jaron looks invincible, almost unstoppable. What's going through my mind is that I'm the best player on the court. But on August 31st, 2016, at just 13 years old, Jaron suddenly collapsed right in the middle of a basketball game from sudden cardiac arrest. Jaron actually died twice, but was revived by paramedics. I leaned over, I put my hands on my knees as if I was tired. I took maybe two or three steps and collapsed. I definitely was praying, um, asking God to keep my child. He was not breathing. We had lost him. He was gone. Jaron survived, but had to undergo open heart surgery to repair a hidden heart defect no one knew he had. We had no warning signs whatsoever. There was nothing wrong with me. I wasn't slow. I wasn't breathing hard or nothing. I was just like every other kid working out. Yes, Jaron passed his UIL state-required school sports exam, but that exam never uncovered Jaron's potentially deadly hidden heart problem. The current sports exams that we're doing now catch about 3% of the heart problems that can lead to sudden cardiac arrest, 3%. By adding an electrocardiogram, an ECG, we can take that to 86%. Now, thanks to the efforts of Scott Stevens, whose own son, Cody, died from a hidden heart defect. Now, State Representative Dan Huberty is introducing a brand new bill this legislature, House Bill 76, that would make it mandatory for every single high school athlete in Texas to undergo an electrocardiogram or echocardiogram heart test. We've had families come and testify in front of us that lost their children, and we've had parents come with their children that have gone through this and found a problem and those children were alive today as a direct result of, of these tests. In fact, Huberty's own son, Dylan, a football player at Atascacita High School, has already been tested and found to have a slightly larger than normal heart, but nothing that will ever hamper his ability to play. Your own son, Dylan, uh, was tested. What would you say to all the parents out there who think this is a waste of time and they really don't have to bother with it? While we can't go back and save any of these children that we lost, you can save your child. You have the ability to do that. As for Jaron, who never had an in-depth heart test, a test his parents say would have detected the heart problem that very nearly killed him. He's back on the court playing and joining those backing this proposed new law. It's going to save lives. If they're not tested in this way, they're basically risking their life. Yes, Jaron did have a deadly heart defect, but doctors fixed it, and he's now playing high school basketball better than ever. Now, you should know if this bill is passed into law, parents who are totally against this kind of thing, for religious reasons, philosophical reasons, whatever, you will be able to opt out of having your child participate. If this bill is passed, Texas will become the first state in the nation to adopt this kind of life-saving program. If you want to read this bill in its entirety, we have it on our website. Just go to the Investigate section. You've been working on this a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Satisfied with the yeah, it yeah, and we'll be following it every step of the way. All right. Nice, All the way nice Thanks. that you're forging change here, Bill. Thank Thank you, Bill. Yep.